Hey there, Wisconsin. This is Gage from Is It Scary Wisconsin tonight. I am joined by my girlfriend Justin and my best friend Jenna, and tonight we'll be covering the realm of darkness. Yeah. Oh boy. If they didn't hate us before this review, they're gonna hate us after it. We're gonna get so much hate for this. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not ready. So Dalton and Ben have the Realm of Darkness at their brand new location just off County Highway Double J in Kakana. And if you guys haven't checked it out, well, when we look at haunts, there's great haunts, there's good haunts, there's mediocre haunts, and then there's forgettable haunts. Unfortunately, this year, Realm of Darkness, well, let's save it for the review, and let's get the scores out. Uh, Jenna, why don't you tell us what you thought? Wow. Um, I I had a hard time scoring this, really. I did, too. I, I, I didn't see a lot of like options low enough. How many times have I had to delay this video because yeah. I'm like... We should have recorded like... this last night and you were like, is it a one or a two? Uh, yeah. I, I did know. you have I the mean, same problem, Jenna? Yeah. All Timing right. is everything, guys. Like, come on. Just step it up a little bit, please. Sorry. For the sake of everybody. Um. So, Realm of Darkness 2023, Jenna, lay it on us. What would you think? Guys, I freaking loved it. Come on. He had a bust. Seriously, oh. like just from right when we walked in, just seeing everything that they had just in that that waiting area. It was such a vibe. Come on. And the two ladies who are always there and greet you and give you the lowdown oh. on everything. They are phenomenal. Look forward to seeing them every year. <laughs> And for real, um, guys, can't you just like screw up on a few more things to make this so much easier to score? <laughs> like, really? Um, I let's just get into it. Scenery, twenty-three out of twenty-five. Sounds, twenty-five out of twenty-five. Masks or scares, twenty-three out of twenty-five. Actors, fourteen out of fifteen. Fun, absolutely, ten out of ten. Um. I I totally got scared. Are you kidding me? Um, there were things that I was not expecting. Things that just kind of you know got you out of nowhere. Really, um, I have a lot of fears, phobias, irrational things that I did encounter there. <clears throat> um, the good thing is I didn't um, I didn't um, piss myself, but I did <laughs> scream. A lot. Uh, it was very scary. <laughs> it was very, very fun. It was enjoyable. The actor interaction is... <laughs> oh my gosh, it's just so good, you guys. Seriously. MVA actor is um, our teacher in the classroom who was trying so hard to teach us dummies some math. Um, I don't think we'll ever learn, but my math for today, I hope it added up. I gave it a 95 out of 100. Well done. Seriously, like, it's hard to find something to nitpick about. But, like, for the most part, it's it wasn't scary enough to, like, you know, make me totally lose my shit, but it was it was really good. So 95 out of 100, that puts you at an, yeah. ex an excellent rating. Yeah. I guess if I could like say one thing that I, I really missed was I would have liked to see like one room that had more fluorescent paint or something just more like bright. But that's me. Like that's, that's like a real nitpicky thing. And just to have everything like very smooth where you don't run into other groups. I mean, that's hard too, but I mean, that's pretty much it guys. It was so good. 
Gage. I realized <clears throat> I couldn't do math either. I <laughs> I did add it up. So I took care of it just now, though. Meanwhile, there. So go back to class. Um, I don't know where Jenna is getting these scores. To be honest, um, because when I went through the hunt, like I'm gonna be honest, I had a really hard time grading this. I. I had to delay this video multiple times. I didn't know if I should give it a certain score or or X score or Y score. But I'm going to tell you what. They were almost damn near perfect for me. Like, I... First of all, I did struggle to think. All right? I struggled to think and get some scores here. But with the scenery, I gave them a 23 out of 25. The scenery was nothing short of impeccable. All right? I, I, I include their ingenuity into the scenery because they are always they have great minds. Dalton and Ben and the crew they really know how to work with what they got. The reason why I didn't really want to give them a perfect score on the scenery was because um, I was able to point out some upcoming things. I don't want to say it just for spoiling reasons. And also they did kind of keep the elevator almost exactly identical as they did last year. Um, but don't let that over oversight the, the incredible rooms that there is to follow. And they did a great job with that. Now for sounds, this is where I gave them the perfect score out of 25 out of 25. You wouldn't really expect that, uh, because their, their scenery was as great as it was, but the sounds, how they pulled this off, it wasn't crazy jump scare music loud oh i'm gonna fucking kill you you're here to die ah oh, screamo no it was quiet we just heard heartbeats all right we just doo, 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 doo. you've heard it there and it just it's chill they left the scares to the actors that is the one thing that i love <laughs> about sound is that they left it to the actors they didn't let it serves its purpose now, for Scares its own self, I did give it a 21 out of 25. Um, I want to note, though, that I was catching quite a few scares before they happened. Um, I was seeing some people before they kind of jumped out. Uh, and uh, I was not really scared throughout the haunt. However, however, I did have a really good jump scare. Someone did get me good. I, I I exclaimed it, proclaimed it, or the hell, I can't seem to think of the word right now. But I did shout, "You got me, dude!" And it you it had the it is the guy in the quarantine room when they got the pair of guys there. The the one guy, you know who you are. You got up close to me, dude. You scared the hell out of me. I don't know how you timed that shit perfectly with the contraptions they had going on there, but you did it. And it, I almost said it, Justin. I almost said the p word. I'm not gonna say it. Impeccable. I'm going to throw that in there. Now, for actors, I will give it a 12 out of 15. Uh, the actors were more fun than they were scary. And that's not a bad thing. It was very enjoyable. I had a great time going through it. Wasn't really that scary for me. But, hey, if you're someone who does... On the scare on scareometer, I'd say if you're in the 50 range, you're going to get scared, all right? If, if you're not used to that stuff. Fun ratings, yes, I have to give it a yes. How could I not? It's a the extra 10 there, which is leading me to my total score of 91. This was a great haunt. You need to go to this haunt. Check it out right off the highway in Kenosha. It is an easy place to get to, and you will see it coming up with the lights. They really did a great job um, making their little place stand out. County Highway Double J in Kokana. And again, MVA was a guy in the quarantine room. I just want to make sure I get that out there. My girlfriend joined us on this night, and she provided her thoughts uh, via a picture of her review. Uh, her scores were uh, 22 on scenery, 24 on sound, 25 on scares, 15 on actors. Yes, it was fun for an additional 10 points. And uh, MVA was the clowns in the cage. So they're absolutely fantastic. She came up with an all her own score of 96 out of 100. She really, really enjoyed this. And she turned to me when we left and said, I don't think I've ever seen anything like that. She said, that is some of the most fun I've ever had at a haunted house. 
And I told her, I said, would you go back? She said, I can't wait to come back. She's coming from Phoenix, too, by the way, yeah. with some crazy haunts over there. Yeah, so she, uh, yeah, this is her first year here for haunt season, and this is the second haunted house haunted house I brought her to now. And uh, she, uh, yeah, the two haunts we've been to so far, she said this one is on a completely different level. So that was her score, 96 out of 100. Okay, now for the review that everybody cares about. Just kidding. I am going to keep saying that though because I think it's funny and I think it. Yeah. I think it. I think it. If I it's keep cute. saying, I think if I keep saying it, eventually Gage will get offended by it and he'll like have to be like, you know, dude, I'll get twiggled. Just say, bro, stop saying that. Seriously. Uh, so, Roma Darkness. Um, first of all, the waiting room is a nice touch. Unfortunately, they have two old ladies working the front, and it is a disappointment. You would think um, it's an 80s night, yeah, 70s night. I didn't know it was 1950s. 19, I didn't know. I didn't know it was Revenge of the 1940s at Realm of Darkness. Seriously. Um, that being said, that that, that bastard. That being I said, th- that being said, the day that we go to Realm of Darkness and they aren't there, I am gonna feel bad because the way they command the front of the house, the way the moms command the front of the house is. I'm going to take a word out of your book, Gage. Phenomenal. Um, you can feel the love, right? You can feel the passion. Mothers supporting their sons. You can, you can, you can feel that, and you can feel that they care for the project as well, and they care about the customer, right? We talk about this. This is the difference between a family-run personally run haunted attraction and something that's maybe a little bit more corporate maybe a little bit larger scale it doesn't have that same spirit when you go in it just doesn't so uh the waiting room at roma darkness is a huge huge hit for me and i really enjoyed it but that being said my scores for the different sections are scenery 18 because I, saw, I noticed a lot of reused rooms from previous years, which is all right, because the things they were doing in them was top tier. Um, sounds were a 22 for me. I, I liked how they didn't flood you with all kinds of bullshit while exactly. you were trying to experience the haunt. Yes, there was some of it, right? There was a little bit here and there. But, the, you know, the sounds would be like the elevator going off or... Um, number two coming on the mic and saying, hey, I need you to stick that fork in that socket for me or stuff like that, right? So uh, the sounds that there were, the music that there was felt appropriate. Uh, you know, there were there were a couple things where I was kind of like, eh, I don't know if this is necessarily in theme or not. Maybe it is, maybe it isn't, whatever. Is this like the best, you know, is this the best musical overlay choice? Maybe they can mix it up a little bit in the future years and earn a higher score there, but a 22 out of 25 pretty solid on music for me the scares uh scored a 20 uh scored a 24 the only thing that i thought was missing were the hiding spots and a few of them uh you know some of them it's like okay i'm pretty sure i know where the scare is going to come in this room i'm pretty sure i know where this person is going to be coming from uh but they they hit the phobia is great the mask and makeup was on point and the actor effort was phenomenal Again, I'm using your word gauge because it's the truth, right? It's acceptable when it's true, right? The actor effort was so good, and you can see that the people that were working there have a passion, right? They care about what they're doing, and they actually want to be there. Now, hey, let's not take anything away. A 24 out of 25 on scares is pretty top, and yes, I got scared multiple times. And that first walkthrough, I was hesitant to grab those metal bars. Uh, When Lynn put the fork in the socket, I felt my heart sink in my chest. So for somebody that has AFib, that was a, okay, am I okay? I better just make sure real quick. (laughs) Uh, It was a really cool moment uh, to see how we all reacted to those things together the first time. So those, that first time we walked through with those scares was awesome. And uh, actors, I uh, gave a 13 out of 15. For the most part, they were in character. Did actually catch a couple out of character, but that might have only been because we were backstage. Um, That's not fair to really throw in there. Really? It's not? Is this your review or mine? Well, backstage. That's different. But go scary, ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Scary. For the most part, I wouldn't say 
there was any actor that really looked scary. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I, I would say that you almost choking on that water just now. It is, went down the Oh my God. Did it, actually, I hope that caught that. It's actually scarier <laughs> than... Um, I'll do you guys all a nice favor. Right I'm now. sorry I'm about actually, that. I'm actually going to mute Gage while he... Go ahead, get it out. I muted you. Um, <laughs> I um, yeah. I wouldn't say any of the actors actually scared me. I wouldn't say they were like, oh my God, you know? But the way they acted, the way they moved, the way they performed was creepy enough to earn a higher score. So I only docked really one point in those categories. Um, yes, it was fun earning them. Uh, your mic's back on, by the way. Earning them te the 10 points that they would be looking for for that category. My final score was an 87 out of 100, which would earn it a great rating from me. And... The only thing I want from Realm of Darkness is that they let you and I come down and attempt to scare act one night next year and record it for our YouTube channel. Um, Ooh, teaser. That would, teaser. Be, that would be the coolest thing. I think that would be fantastic. Uh, and I think if any haunt is a haunt to do it at its Realm of Darkness. Uh, that being said, the show was fantastic. And if I have my way, my girlfriend and I will be going back there at least once more before the season's over. That was a outstanding performance, a great show. I loved it. Gage, anything else you want to say about Realm of Darkness? I do want to establish when I brought up the elevator, it's not because of the elevator is the reason why I adopted it. It's the fact they reuse the same kind of scene. They've had the same scene um, last year, uh, depending on the one of the three that you did, did get. Um, I just want to throw it out there. I still love elevator. Keep it. I just wish there was some different scenes. Yeah, and that was actually the reason that my scenery score was so low is because there were multiple recycled rooms from last year. Again, they only had mm -hmm. so much time to build and bring up for this new, uh, for this new uh, year here, for this new era of darkness, as you yeah. so poignantly put during our video. Uh, but that being said, the new was new enough that it was fantastic. Uh, and uh, oh, my MVA. Did I not write an MVA? You, oh my god, did you not? You want to know who it should be, though? You tell me, actually. Well, who should it be? Go ahead, tell me who it should be. Spoons. Yeah, I had a really cool interaction with Spoons in the classroom. Uh, and you... for, the, for the record, I did read from the book like he told me to. And of course, they know I'm afraid of the dark, they know I don't like being alone in haunted houses, and they singled me out and sent me alone. Uh, so they triggered some of my phobias and, uh, yeah, I had half a mind to just stand right there in that hallway and not move. Cause I do not like it. It was cute as shit when you get such a big guy like Justin behind me and I can feel him grasping at the back oh, yeah. of my uh, I'm, shirt. I'm terrified of the dark. I don't like it at all. Uh, that being, I wanna... that being said, I would like to give props to, uh, realm of darkness for one of their rooms. I am not going to give any spoilers. They'll know what I'm talking about. You and I made some suggestions, Gage. <laughs> Gage, you and I made some suggestions when we went down to see them about something that they should do in a certain phobia room, in this case, hallway, with something that they should deploy. Now you know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. and now they know <clears throat> what I'm talking about. Yep. It's the first time I've been in a haunt where they did that. Ever. They listened. Can, you, can I they, add to that? Yes, you can in a second. Not okay. only did they listen, but it the first time, right? So once we knew what it was, we're like, ah, you fuckers. But once we knew, until <laughs> yes. before we knew what it was, there was honestly a moment where I checked what fell on me. There was a moment where I was like, oh, hell no. <laughs> it was very well done. Go ahead, Jenna. Um, going off of that with what um, fell on you and what kind of stays with you, um, at one point later on when um, 
I was just going about my day, I, I was, I, I re encountered certain said mm. thing and it yeah. re scared me. And I'm like, it's, what in the, oh yeah. And the reason, the reason it was so good is because of the room it followed. Mm -hmm. Because it literally followed a room themed for that. That was perfect. That was smart. Yeah. And that's why Dalton and Ben are two of my favorite haunters in Wisconsin. I have nothing else to say. If you guys have final thoughts, let's hear them. Uh, there's merch links below. Gage has got a coupon code. Make sure you guys buy some. Seriously. Caustic Purple looks fucking banging. Moms, I love you. Seriously, you're the best. We love you, moms. You're I just great. Dalton and Ben let a scare act. I want to record some shit in there. It'd be so much fun. I guess there's only one question to ask. Is it scary, Wisconsin? Have a good night. <laughs>